Hello and welcome to this very quick and simple tutorial to writing long form content using ChatGPT. A lot of my content is based around making listicle articles, so I wanted to give people a way to make longer form content. The first thing you're going to need is you're going to need AI... AIPRM for ChatGPT. The reason that we're going to be using this is because it just makes everything a little bit easier, a little bit quicker, etc, etc. So what I've got here is the extension. And I actually just tried this one right at the top here today, or it might be in, yeah, it was this one here, the second one. So fully SEO optimized article, including FAQs. This has 434,000 views, 322,000 comments and 11,000 upvotes. So it clearly has, it's clearly a very popular way to create content which is why I'm going to be trying it out in this video. And I did try it out today and it works very, very well. However, if you thought this video was just going to be this, then you are going to be pleasantly surprised because I'm going to show you how to do everything in this video, including making everything just very, very quick. So the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to find a keyword. If you don't know how to get onto Google Ads Keyword Planner in order to find keywords, then please take a look at the description where there will be a video explaining how to set it up and explaining the basics of how I use it. Basically, in the most basic form, what I like to do is I like to set the language to English, obviously. And I like to set the country to United States. And I just like to write like literally the most broad thing you can think of in your niche. So something like male fashion, okay? And what this does is it tells Google Ads Keyword Planner generally what you're thinking of writing. And what it normally does is it gives you something like this, which is an absolutely amazing keyword. 90s outfit men has up to 100,000 searches every month. But another thing you can do is you can do three month change and you can look for keywords here. I personally think that the plus 900 keywords are the best. So what I'm actually gonna be doing though is I'm gonna be using the keyword that I found today. Um, which was resort, uh, resort wear. Resort wear for men. What does that mean? It means what do you wear when you go on vacation, basically. And it has a decent amount of searches every month, uh, as you can see here. Where is the men? Men's resort. I just saw it. Men's resort wear. It has up to 10,000 searches every month. I think it was something like 5,600 when I checked it. And all I did today was I just literally put the focus keyword in this and it wrote the article for me. What this does is it gives you a clickable title, it gives you a clickable meta description, and it gives you a really well laid out article, which we can very, very quickly and very, very easily then make into a full article. This appears to have only given me the outline, which is not what I want. But technically, this would actually do as an article because sometimes you can write articles like this, guys, okay? However, this is not what I want. So I'm going to click new chat and I'm going to see why this is not what I want. Uh, I have no idea why it didn't give me an article. So let's just try this other one where I can actually get an article. So this one is giving me titles and it's giving me a table of contents, which I actually do not need. But we may as well keep the table of contents anyway. You can see already this is producing much more content than if you use one of my prompts. The reason for that is my prompts do many different things. Like, for example, one of the things my prompt does is automatically add internal links, which is obviously very, very useful, okay? But sometimes we just want content and a lot of content. So that's actually what I'm doing in this specific video right now. Okay, so this thing is still going, which is actually kind of a little bit ridiculous at this point. Um, yeah, so let's see how many words we've added, we're working with here, and I'm going to show you a few other tricks to save yourself ridiculous amounts of time using my methods. So what you want to do is you, you want to open a doc, and you want to just go into a fresh Google document, okay? And then just paste. Just paste it straight up. And then first thing you want to do is you want to delete these uh, formatting errors that come from copying and pasting directly from chat GPT. So there's that one and there's that one. Okay, so these should be the only splits in the article right here. 
So once I've deleted them, this should now be a fairly complete article already. Let's click on tools, let's come from word count, 1,258 words, just written incredibly quickly for a good keyword, good content, it has the FAQs, it has titles already. So you can see that this is already incredibly quick, but let's make it even quicker. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go on Microsoft Designer, which I've been using recently to create all of my um, blog featured images. I love this tool, it makes everything so much quicker for me. And we're already here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna say a Shopify featured image blog post for a blog, uh, for an article called resort where for men okay and then let's click on my media basically just upload one of your pictures okay i uploaded this one today we have incredibly good photographers at work guys so you may or may not have seen that the website has been updated okay uh, if you're new to my channel i'm working on this website right now two men dot it we've got new photos it looks incredible shout out to my photographer really really well done and yeah, so basically I have all of these images already and all I have to do is just choose one of these, customize design. Oh, I can send invites to people. I might do that to my people, the people in my Discord. So if you want to join my Discord, guys, there will be a link also in the description. Basically, press remove watermark. You can change things up a little bit. I personally like it as it is, so we'll download it. I don't know if the image is loaded here, but I'm just going to pretend that it has even if it hasn't. So you can just, I, what I like to do is I like to drag and drop this onto here just so that we can see the complete article. Also, if you're writing for a client, then this is how they would want the content. Let's just download that again with the actual photo there. Okay, so that's the photo done. And then what I'm gonna show you is something super duper extra special. So first of all, I don't really need this table of contents because I have a tool that will give me that anyway. What you want to do is you want to delete the um, title, meta description, all that good stuff. You can put it into your Shopify or into your WordPress already if you want. I'm just going to leave it here just so that we have it, but it's not going to do anything uh, with this content here. So another thing that I'm going to very quickly do, and this is this is just for me personally, okay? You don't necessarily have to do, do this, okay? But I'm going to say add a uh, paragraph and talk about the brand's kit on, Cesare. Atolini, uh, Santoni, Appendity. These are just examples. Normally, I would tell them, you know, use K&T for, for their track suits, et cetera, et cetera. I'm not going to do that in this video, but basically all I want is a little paragraph talking in the context of the article, uh, talking about the brands that we sell, okay? The reason I do that is because I am obviously using the power of blog posts in order to grow my collection pages. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna say 10 uh, brands you can wear to um, get. Actually, I can literally just, I can see it right here. I'm gonna delete this, some popular brands, and just put this content instead. Perfect. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you something super duper spicy and amazing. <laughs> so you've probably you may have seen this before but there will be a link to the auto keyword filler v2 document uh given to us by our friends over at article fiesta press file make a copy of this document and this normally takes a little bit of time to load but once it's loaded you want to delete all the content and you want to replace it with your content like that and then i'm going to click on uh app scripts like this so extensions and then app scripts this will already have the app script here okay the other thing you're going to need is a google sheet there will be another link to a video that goes into this in a little bit more detail how to create this etc etc okay but basically what i'm going to need is my two men keywords and in the first column it's basically the keyword and in the second column it's the article or whatever that i need to be internally linked and we're going to use this automatic internal link editor so we'll grab this sheet id from the url of the google sheet we'll paste it here and then we're just going to literally hit run this uh google sheet is missing quite a lot of stuff this is not my complete one i don't know what's going on here actually why does it have this bracket as well hang on I can't really use that because it's not going to work. Uh, two men. Ah, okay. It's this one here. 
I opened the wrong one. Okay, so we'll grab this again, and we're going to cancel this, and we're going to paste this here like that. And then we're going to hit run. And basically what this will do is it's going to ask for permission to run because it's an, an app script, and the app script could be malicious. So because Google hasn't verified this app script, then you are going to have to allow it to run on your system or run on your document. And as you can see, it says ex ed execution started. And then if we scroll down, let's see if it's found any of the keywords. I don't actually know if it's found any here. Let's have a little look. Yep, there we go. You can see links everywhere, pretty much. Links, links, links. And yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. So this is how to create content in the quickest time possible. Just make sure that this uh, list of keywords and links is very comprehensive and covers everything that you need it to. Make sure that you find good keywords using Google Ads Keyword Planner, like I showed you at the beginning of the video. And yeah, it's literally that easy, guys. All you have to do now is copy and paste this directly into WordPress or Shopify. You do the title separately, you add the featured image, and then you just add the rest of the content as well. It's super simple to add this to your content management system, such as WordPress or Shopify. So I'm not actually going to go into that in this video. If you don't know how to do that, you should probably not be watching this video because you probably haven't understood any of what I've just talked about. Thanks for watching, guys. I really wanted to make this video to show you how to make longer form content still in an incredibly quick time. That is a 1,300 word article done in slightly less than 10 minutes. Thanks for watching. I'll see you soon with some more content and peace out.